hello everybody today uh, we will be discussing common errors and uh, how spotting common errors uh, improve your communication skills how it gives you strength to balance your opinion let us know first the role of spotting common errors in human communication see the knowledge of spotting common errors increasing your confidence in all the activities of human communication known as lsrw listening speaking reading and writing in the following forms and media spotting common errors improves your listening skills and understanding skills it improves your public speaking and oral skills it gives you confidence to describe objects and situations accurately it also improves your attitude over electronic and digital media it improves reading comprehension it improves translation from English to Hindi and vice versa and it improves your presentation skills and the way you prepare your delivery of thoughts in debates and group discussion. Why do we commit errors in grammar? There are two simple reasons. First, you don't know syntax and you don't believe in maintaining sentence. And second, you don't know how to apply learned syntax of a language you don't know about application of sequence of tenses application of prepositions applications of ideals though you learn but you don't know how to apply so these two are the basic reasons of the common errors for example let's see a sentence i go to school i can write it in the way i go to the school i can also write in that way i goes to school okay whatever in whatever way we can write and the, the meaning comes from it and if you are uh, if you are attempting only to reflect meaning okay out of your sentence ignoring the importance of the arrangement of words and uh, uh, appropriateness of uses of the words okay somewhere you commit mistakes in hindi also you can see if there is a sentence my ghar jata which is a correct sentence this sentence can be written can be spoken in different way like mai hu jata ghar mai jata hu ghar ghar mai jata hu jata hu mai ghar hu mai jata ghar all these are the sentences and referring to a particular meaning and everybody understands what you are going to say or what do you say everybody understands but the question is to what extent you are correct to refer accurate meaning intended meaning that you want to convey it depends on the knowledge of grammar the common errors may happen out of the problems in uses of the articles uses of uh, object verb agreement uses of uh, prepositions uses of conjunctions and vices articles in sentences if you see now let's practice there uh, is there a university in your city uh, let's see uh, next example does every student in the college wear a uniform here you you see a uniform means a, a single person is using a uniform so a uniform and the college because college is known to the speaker a university a single university okay uh, but uh, here a university is also referring any university right European singer and hour is there an honor for all of us okay in these sentences the articles are used at their appropriate places and let you know about the current as I explained uh, a and n the indefinite articles and their uses so now uh, let's understand the definite article and the way it is used and why the should be used we often commit mistakes in using the article definite article called the or the the article the is uh, called a definite article 
because it is used to define a certain and specific condition or status of a noun. It is used to specify distinct singular or unique quality of a noun. It is used before superlative degree of an adjective. It is used to specify a particular tribe, creed, community and color. It is used before a noun when we talk to someone who already knows which person or thing you mean. So these five are the important uh, conditions why you should use the definite article the. We can have an example. Uh, brother is sitting in the garden. Here, let's understand this sentence. Why the speaker here or writer has used uh, the definite uh, article the before the noun garden. See, the garden here in this sentence means garden is known to the speaker. The garden is seen by the speaker. It is used by the speaker. Okay. Uh, this is the reason why uh, in this sentence uh, garden is accompanied with the definite article the. So the sentence is correct. Brother is sitting in the garden. In the same way other examples are here. Who is on the carpet? Turn the radio off now. I will wait for you in the car. The boys are upstairs and the girls are in the street. The Himalayas be which our minds, the Ganga is one of the largest and longest rivers in the world. These In these sentences you see all the nine nouns, uh, carpet, radio, car, boys, girls, the streets, Himalayas, world, longest and Ganga. These words are accompanied by the why because of, because of the conditions which I explained in the previous slide, the five conditions. Carpet in the sentence is known to the speaker. Radio is known to the speaker. Car is known to the speaker. Boys, girls and streets are known to the speaker. Himalayas known to the speaker and the world. It is very famous uh, place in the world. It is one of the uh, wonders of the world. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> the is used here before the noun Himalayas. Ganga is well known in the world. Therefore, for its specificity and uh, incomparability, it is used here. The is used. Okay. Uh, the is also used here with the superlative degrees of the adjective. And uh, of course, with world, because world is known to us. Therefore, the is Used. What I am trying to say you all that with these five conditions one should use the to signal the noun. I have already talked about the position of articles that it is used before a noun because it determines the situation and the condition of the noun. And uh, let's see example. This is an art of reading a book. Would you like a cup of tea? Is that a horse or a donkey? You will need a black pen or an HP pencil. Have you ever seen an elephant? Do you have an umbrella that I can borrow? So these are the sentences. These are the very, very, very important sentences. Okay, that are, that are, uh, some sentences are there. Sometimes you use uh, sentences without articles. Okay, but intended use of without articles means that you are using that noun in a very general sense. For example, frogs are my favorite animal. It means that frogs are known frogs. You don't know the colors, the categories, the biological categories, the biological classes. You don't know about the frogs. But frogs and children, babies, sun, birds, people. All these words are the nouns. But these nouns are unknown to the speaker and this is the reason why uh, the speaker here uh, does not use any any article therefore these sentences are uh, known as uh, sentences with zero articles thank you for watching this video but you understand grammar which can go on even king the french writer says this more american writer says that if you want to break the rules of grammar first learn the rules of grammar thank you very much for listening